Hello everyone, today I'm here to help all Samsung owners which want native call recorder for their devices. I have already a video about S21 series and below series which you can find it here but we are missing S22 series native call recording option and that's why today I will show you how to enable that of course we will need to change the CSC code of our device. It was possible by using some key, but it was paid and today I will show you how to do this free. But before we continue, if you are still not subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. All right, let's move on. Okay guys, this is my S22 device and I will start with a little bit explanation about what and how you will need to do this. Before starting the process, please back up everything from your device. Your device will not be resetted, so all your data will be safe. But my advice is just make a backup of everything to be sure it will be okay. First, I will show you. Let's open the dialer, go in settings and just want to show you that call recording option is missing here. Now I will just even call from my other number and show you that native call recording is missing. Let's just open that, you can see this is my number, let's answer the call and call recording option is missing here. Let's tap on the three dot, view contact, send message but call recording is missing sadly. And now it's time to enable that natively by using Samsung stock dialer application. We'll need our phone, a USB cable, preferably to be stock the original one USB cable and of course a computer. This will work for almost every Samsung device. Let's just go in settings, scroll down, about phone, software information scroll down and here you can see service provider software version and you can see my phone number is sm-s908b this is samsung s22 ultra exynos version and after that is oxm that is my main csc of this device and inside it is eux this is the active CSC of my device and that means I'm in Europe and here call recording is forbidden. So we can't use that option in European Union and almost every other country. Guys, important part is to check your phone model. If you own a phone model S908B, this is international European version and you can have a native call recorder. If you have a version which is S908E at the end, that means you have an Asia or Africa version or even South America version and that means you can have native call recorder. So we have also a different versions which are N2, U, U1, W, N and 0 and that means you can't have a native call recorder. Sorry USA, sorry Canada, sorry Korea and sorry China. That's it. You can have a native call recorder version only for B version and E version. B version is Exynos and E version is Snapdragon. So today I will show you how you can switch your CSC and have a native call recorder. Basically that means if you change your CSC you switch to a country which native call recorder is not forbidden. For Europe, that is CSC SEK, which stands for Ukraine, and call recorder there is not forbidden because they are not in European Union. And today we'll switch to their CSC. You can find all the CSCs with native call recorder down in video description, so always check for there. So if you use this Exynos version of S22 series and you switch to a SEK which stands for Ukraine CSC, keep in mind that your native call recorder will work but your SP won't work and color ID won't work. So if you switch to INS CSC which is specially for Snapdragon version and 
in E letter, that means you will have a call recording, you will have an S pay and you will have color ID working, but your over the air updates won't work and you need to update your device every time using Odin and it is very complicated. It will work, it won't break your device, you will have native call recorder, you will have Samsung Pay, you will have color ID option, but you will miss that over the air updates and you need to update your device every time manually. So guys, I think I already explained everything. Now let's move to our computer and I will just show you what you need to do there. All right, first of all, let's thank all right, first of all, let's thank to XDA developers member Chosmile. Thanks mate. Thank you very much. This is possible because of your post. He's explained here everything. Of course, link to the post will be in video description so you can read everything there. But now, let's move to important part. You need that application some FW FRP2 version 3.0 link for it will be in video description so you can download it i will just download it now and install it on my computer and i will show you step by step my advice is here to disable your antivirus security i will just do that We'll just disable real-time protection until I'm ready with that application. I already checked it. I didn't find anything suspicious, so I will use it. You will use it on your own decision. So let's go to this application and extract it. Let's just run the application. This is the application. What we need to do here on our device is just go to our stock Samsung dialer and dial the following hot star dash zero star dash this is something like a service mode of Samsung devices and that's it it's enough let's just connect our device to the computer and that's it that's need to be right here NTP Samsung mobile USB modem com something this is very important you need this to be here if it's not here that means your device is not properly connected to the computer probably you need to change your usb cable or you need a new drivers of course adb drivers will be in video description so you can download them and now guys just put here the desired csc which you want remember if you are using an exynos version you need to switch to SEK, which stands for Ukraine, and you will receive your over-the-air updates, but you won't have Samsung Pay. That's it. So, just here in that field, write SEK. Remember, all the CSCs will be in video description. So, first, Check your device model, check if it's available in that country and that CSC and after that you can safely switch to it. So if you are using S21, S20 and so on, A53, A52 and so on, just check if your device is available in one of these countries and that's it. Change your CSC. So when you write here the CSC in that field, select that change CSC. Tap on it, it's reading now. You can see that message here, go to emergency dialer, enter star dash zero star dash, click OK. When you are done, I already do this, so I'm done. Guys, I forgot to tell you something. It's better to remove your SIM card before starting the process. So I didn't remove mine, but it's better to remove it. All right, I'm ready. Just tap OK. It's asking here on the phone, allow USB debugging, always allow. And now your device will be rebooted. That's it. When it's rebooted, you will have your changed CSC and enabled native call recorder. At that point, you can disconnect your device from the computer and 
just check if everything is working phone is restarted let's disconnect it all right let's just go first in settings and check our software information and you can see what we have now we have a changed csc to sek you can see here it is changed now okay guys let's just go to our dialer tap on the three dots settings and what we have here is an option record calls show notification after recording auto record calls and recorded calls i will disable auto record calls and we'll just call myself again so we can test that future okay i'm calling now here it is let's just answer and what we have here a record call button let's tap on it it is start recording our call i will check that in a minute i will speak a little bit in the other phone here it is my other phone hello friends did you hear me did you hear me now let's just tap let's just test that call recording let's turn off the call and you can see i have a notification here call record let's just tap on it tap it again using an application for example samsung voice recorder And that's it friends, you can see everything is working perfectly, your device is not factory reset, but my advice is always make a backup of everything before you start the process. Check in video description, everything will be there, all the CSCs will be there and the most important part, first check your model number. Check availability in different countries and select your CSC. I will try to explain in video description what is, what is working for every CSC. And you can see now your recordings are in internal storage, recordings, call and here it is my call recording. Every call record will be here. You can enable automatic call recorder. Let's just go in settings record calls automatic record calls and it will automatically record all your calls natively coming directly from samsung that was it guys for today thanks for watching don't forget if this video helped you somehow please subscribe to my channel and like my videos have a nice day